Everyone calls a horse. We're supposed to not get in trouble. We start off by these guys calling us stupid. That's gonna be tough. That's going to be tough. All right, gentlemen, follow me. So these guys asked if we were still up to go fishing, and I am. So how far is this creek? What just happened with our money there? The ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Ooh. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. How do you do, sir? Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels... Uh, idiot! <laughs> but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We're going to hear so many good stories. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rock monster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. I'll race you, but I don't know where I'm going. Actually, I can't race you. This is as fast as we go. No, now you're bumping into me. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Okay. Some of these little, like, riverbank, riverbed areas are super nice. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh, well, we're going like legit fishing. Is that what you're selling me? Yes, over there on the shore. What? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right, Mr. Walker. Uh, hopefully we'll be back for you. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real <laughs> labor no more. We'll handle You're it. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. On a list of things that I thought I'd be doing in a western. Fishing in the middle of the lake, not one of those things. I think here's good. Alright, good luck, gentlemen. 
Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best oh, fish. Oh, good tip. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Strong. A good old worm. Oh, worms are. Oh, I'm supposed to. Oh, I see. Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Something snibbling. There we go. Well, that was ah, quick. I should have had that one. Slowly rotate. Arthur's got a bite. Oh! Now reel him in, Arthur. I got him. I think that's a bite. There he is. Where did yours go, Hosea? I wanted to see something huge. River monster. <laughs> that feels like a bite. Got one. Shit. Got away. Pull down to drag the fish towards you, then quickly reel in the line to make faster progress. Oh. Not a bad size. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Followed Four pounds. Once saw a monster lake sturgeon Rainbow near the trope. mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckon. See, so, yeah, that's what uh, I, I want. I would like to see that. Good job, Arthur. Ha! Got ya. I wonder if that's like a clue to finding like this ultimate mega fish. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. We got the hang of this, I think. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. <laughs> you got a bite there, Arthur. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. I wonder if I can switch here. We saw when we nope. went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. 
We're just picking fish out of here, like, n not even having to try. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I love well, her. Well, this one feels huge. In my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. You hooked him? Come on. Dutch is oh. opening up quite a bit. Oh, that's different. What is this one? Largemouth bass. Not bad. Four pounds, five ounces. They make up and fight what they lack in taste, so the flaky fish meat can be eaten. They like crayfish bait. Not worth keeping that one. Pulling the rod back further before releasing will cast out further. Yeah, okay. Come on now. You got there we go. Arthur. Nicely done, Arthur. We are nailing this. My guess is still under five pounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's a keeper. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. <laughs> All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat, not too far back to camp from here. Yeah, let's do it. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. That was Thank cool. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me something. I asked that girl to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And the head is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round, 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, round, round. To them we dance this round, round, round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Probably should keep our day jobs. The folks bet. 
No, yeah, we were out there working. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. This I feels like the calm before the storm. Yeah. I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. <laughs> for now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. Okay, so it looks like I'll a few things have been set up. Nice. So I wonder if I have to give him the fish that I brought. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that Who's farther, fighting? Farther how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. <laughs> Uncle. Uh, just a just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. You're not Poor guy. I met worms with more background, old man. Here we go. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yes. They left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Depending on the ladies. Or should I say the women? There should definitely be a way to just say... Fill me up on everything. Go to any gunsmith shop to buy the bandolier and gun belt equipment so you can hold more ammunition. Completing challenges will allow you to upgrade them. Okay. We'll refill our tonics. Let me guess, you want me to collect some debts for you? The rum, all of this stuff is good for the dead eye. It's the most important. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, what is I'm the... gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, <laughs> what the I'm hell? gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. What? Put that knife down or you could be missing a head. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Vegetables are the canned vegetables My are floating. My husband and I, we shared the work, all of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough, both of you. Jesus. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? We'll so show you what it's like. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? You got it. Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Jeez. Not happy at all. 
I'm curious. Can we see? We can't see what these are. What the list actually is. I guess. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna do the same thing. Killing's okay, but I don't feel bad. Where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. Oh no. You are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Whoa. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> And what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they change. I just don't want to cut this off. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper. Put well, that away, you, you idiot. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not <laughs> idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. Don't shoot anyone. You're sure? I'm this sure. Time. It'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Oh. Look at the train coming in. Frick, that's cool. The mail icon will display if there's a mail ready for collection at the post office. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Yep, that's the word in town. There you go. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Bye bye. Wait, do I have a, uh, whoops. <laughs> do I have a bounty? Well, I can pay off bounties from anywhere. Look, I have a bounty pretty much in every possible location right now. Jeez, we're broke again. How do you do, sir? I'm great, thanks. Totally not a wanted outlaw or anything. I could train my goat to do this faster. Is she giving him trouble? We ain't boy. We ain't got all day. I'm going as fast as I can here. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. <laughs> I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. 
Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. Oh. I know. I'm I don't think we heard that before. About what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing. Oh, harmonica. Okay. Ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there. Hey. Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Don't even That's think about home. it. You're in Lamorn Raider country. Keep it cool. You man. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? She just grabbed her gun. How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No. Jesus. Go, go, go. God damn it. Get moving now. Whoa. Oh. What the hell was that? Real smooth. Is this him? I'm gonna run this son of a bitch <laughs> I didn't know. I couldn't tell if that was uh Come on. Told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? You sure I did. Don't remember asking you to prove it. Yeah, you brought you goddamn coward. I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. Yeah, I All mean, right. sure. I'll drive us back. Dutch's gonna be pissed. No, past those range here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. <laughs> I'm fine. Careful now. We show those bastards, huh? Oh yeah. I mean not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. I mean I agree with her, but But that's a lot of mess to make. It's gonna be trouble. Here can Easy, you're gonna wreck the wagon. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yep. Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. I feel like this is exactly what she would do. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Watch it. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. <laughs> the mind boggles. We haven't been through the journal in a while. Then, Miss Adler. Not quite. There's probably so well, much in there now, I'd like though. To say I missed your refined tough. conversations, but... I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. No big deal. Oh, shut up. Just a casual day in the life, you know? Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have if you hadn't talked me into it. 
There we go. Now we can start taking some stuff. We'll fill up on whatever we can, and then see what we can do to help these guys. Can I tell you something? Always. I'm frightened, Jose. Real frightened. Of what? Pinkerton's bounty hunters. Life. What is this? Hey, Arthur. Rob a homestead. What? Just we just randomly just go and do it? Another busy day. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> So I think the idea with these guys is we'll try and uh, get them to pay if they're in the area. I want to see what this is all about. Individuals owe the gang money or marked with the dollar sign. Seek out the debtors and recover it. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about <laughs> oh, outside, yes. all liquored up. <laughs> yes. I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's, Let's go do check it, it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. I wonder if this is available all the time or if he... Uh, or if he just comes up with this once in a while. I'm really worried about... Maybe missing out on hunting with Charles, but... We'll see if it comes up again. Too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. <laughs> I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. Is that right? And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. 
Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds? Supplies and the like? <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. <laughs> I'd always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? Yeah, I guess, but... You got knocked out. <laughs> ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. You have a pension for just get getting knocked out. Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time. About all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for it. Better be worth it. <laughs> hey, you need I love this, that. Arthur. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Easy. The job or the horses? Up here, Morgan. On foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they. St okay. It's the money. Hope you know what you're doing. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Uh, I'm hanging back here. I'll hang at this thing. How about? What kind of options do we have? The shotgun. Guess we'll stick with this for now, just in case. Hey there! Whoa! Oh. I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? <laughs> right wow, it's so easy. Oh, it's over, shh. Here come the rest of them. Oh, my God. Come on. Tell us where you 
rest us your money, and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. All right. You know what? The homeowner has revealed a secret Don't stash spot to you. You'll often find the best option won't be immediately killing everyone you come across. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? He said behind the wall? Told you we take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. <laughs> you heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Which is where I'm at. You find Anthony yet? Yeah, I'm on it. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. <laughs> See uh -huh. you back at camp. He just takes off. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places. You can discover homesteads by exploring the world. There'll often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads, and the method to make off with the highest amount of money won't always be the same. Oh, that's so cool. So that was just him basically introducing it to us, and now it's up to us to find them on our own. Oh, that's legit. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a break here. When we come back, uh, we'll probably just try and get into some trouble because that's what we're really good at. Um, we may have to head back to camp, but either way, we're looking pretty good. Is this... No, this way. We got a lot of people that need us to do things for them. Uh, we collect money if we get the opportunity, if they're in the area. And we'll just keep going from there. So, wish me luck, guys. We'll see you in the next one. After I rob this guy. Thank you.